Feels like a mutton. Usually when there's one, there's more. Fish out! He's fighting like a mutton. <laughs> cold morning and we're gonna do some fishing today y'all already know that I'm having some boat problems my boat will be done probably in five to six weeks normally in this situation is when I call up Dan from the Florida fishing couple and I'm like Dan take me fishing so I can get some content but guess what Dan's boat engine blew up also so we got two guys zero boat and that's where our buddy Mike comes into play. He invited us out. I think he's got a 26 or, or 27 foot sea hunt. I'm about to drive to Dan's house. Dan and I were going to get some chum and then he's actually going to come and pick us up from Dan's house. I told Mike that people are catching muttons. So I think we're going to do kind of like a reef patch reef. We're going to do some reef fishing. I got an extra jacket in case it gets cold. I got my Grundins probably put those on later and two spinning reels the setup I'm running is pretty simple it's a BG 5000 Daiwa that's the name of the reel I got a whole bunch of 40 pound braid on it like a whole spool full and then on top of that I got my 40 pound wind on leader which is available at southforfishchannel.com the wind on leader with a weight loop and then at the end of the leader I'm just probably gonna put a hook but on the weight loop you just clip on a weight drop the whole thing down and we drift it and that's what I'm gonna plan on fishing today. Let's see if we catch something. Let's get this day started. There's Captain Bats. I'm about to pull in and get some bait. Captain Bats. Bam! Snapping just like that. I got three boxes of chum, pack of ballyhoo, and then I brought this. Bonita. Let's go fishing. Snap, there's Dan's boat with a non-working engine. Here I got my Grundins. And with a snap of a finger, I'm gonna look like a true professional fisherman. Snap! I'm dressed up and ready to go. <laughs> dressed up like an Eskimo. <laughs> I know, we're protected from all the elements. Check it out, Dan, I got a new mic for my GoPro. Uh, where, let me see that. Ooh, that's, mm -hmm. that, that's for the GoPro? Yeah. Oh man, I'm jealous now. I know. Nice. We gotta step up the game, you know. If we're only putting out one fishing video every couple months, it might as well be a good one. <laughs> a video. We didn't, we didn't catch anything yet. Oh, yeah, well. We better catch something because it's catch. windy. Plus, you stepped up your game. Mm hmm. All right. So, is your engine not working? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, engine update. So, hmm. I got. It's, it's kind of precarious. It's my. Uh, <laughs> It's my oil injection system. I have two options. I have option to replace a lot of parts, which will cost me about $2,000. Ooh. Or Ooh. I can replace none of them and start mixing my mm. oil and my gas and just eliminate the oil injection system. So I leave the question up to you. What should I do? I thought you were going to say fix none of them and just buy a new boat. Well, that's coming eventually. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, dun, dun. So yeah. Anyway, that's my dilemma. That's wrong. All right. What about your boat? What's going on with yours? I don't want to talk about it. I don't blame you. It'll be back in five to six weeks. <laughs> maybe. Keys time, maybe three or four months. Two guys, two channels, no boats. <laughs> Damn it.
head out of Key Largo and go straight to the patcheries. During winter, the mutton snapper like to come up into more shallow water, and in the keys, there are white anchor balls with a blue stripe on them that you can tie off to and fish from. They are located all over the reefs and can be a great spot to fish and snorkel. It is 20 feet deep at this location, and once we tie off on the ball, we put out a chum bag, and it's time to start fishing. Here you go. First, I put some cut ballyhoo on a chicken rig. I don't think he's a big one, but I think he's a lively one. Oh. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that looks like Dory. How many fish they get? That's not a rat. That is pretty. That was pretty cool. Oh, I got a fish. It doesn't feel big now. Feels like a little, a little crunch. Dan, your favorite. Grunt. Hey! Oh, nice. Grunt. Grunt. Oh, really? He thinks he's a real fish. He's swimming forward. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, mutton. It is a mutton. Uh, mutton. Really? I said it didn't pull like a mutton. First mutton of the day. Look at that. Mike catches a small mutton, and I know when there's one, there's usually more. So I butterfly a ballyhoo and free line it on a circle hook, just letting it drift back with the current. You'll see my rig set up later in the video, and the links to the hooks I use are in the video description below. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feels like a, feels like a mutton. I think I got a mutton, Dan. Mutton! Mutton! <laughs> I don't know, it feels like a mutton. It's big. Just don't be a bear cooter. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't really feel... It doesn't feel like a bear cooter. This is where a net would be good. Yeah, it's a big. <laughs> or if, if you can get them under the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, man. Nice. Thank you, man. Good stuff. Got dinner. Now well, you guys really got a fish. I'm gonna have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Usually when there's one, there's more. Um, butterfly ballyhoo. It never fails. Twenty one and a half. Nice. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Oh, this. Laying right there on the ice. Oh. <laughs> Well, the current's so like um, weak right now, you can just, I just free the hook back and it went straight down. <laughs> Dude, I knew that was a mutton too. I'm like, I'm like, that's a mutton. <laughs> it's not as big. <laughs> Feels like yellowtail maybe. Oh no. They can't all be winners. I'm sure it tastes all right. <laughs> Mike's shirt off and just put it on his back. Yeah, right? And a slippery fish indeed. You. That's a blue fish. Like that. Oh, under, under there. There you go. <laughs> it's a parrot fish. You don't catch those too often. I don't think I ever have. Look at that. 
at his beak on it. It's just oh. nothing but a beak. Nice. Heck, you really? Those things he almost got caught. Off. Yeah, he almost got caught looking. Yeah, stick your <laughs> finger in there, Mom. See what? Okay. Check his bite force. <laughs> My favorite way to freeline a ballyhoo is by hooking it through the head just like this. It gives the bait good action when twitching it and reeling it in. Again, I just drift this butterfly ballyhoo behind the boat with the current and there is no weight involved. Okay, I'm gonna let him just go out. Yeah, damn! Fish on! I'm gonna be on standby this time to grab it. He's fighting like a mutton again. He's fighting like a mutton. Where did that uh -oh. oh yeah. Oh, we got, oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. That's two parrot fish. Dan's got a big mutton on. I'm trying to jinx you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm trying to solidify the truth. Oh, he's, he's barely hooked. hooked. Bro, That's a keeper. Bro, he, hold on, hold on. Oh, I wish barely. we had a net. <laughs> yeah. Whack him in, he's That's barely on. He got caught looking. <laughs> All right. Boy, these are pretty fish, aren't they? Wait, mine just went real tight. Oh, oh yeah, you're in. Yeah! Free line it. That was my pitch. Oh, that's too clean. All right, I go bring him over. Let's see him. That looked like a mutton, ah, I think. That does. I think you're right. He's fighting like one. He's white. He's got white yeah, belly. it's a mutton. Got a white belly <laughs> on the I'm circle hook. From the head, he's got the whole ballyhoo stuffed in his throat. Dan caught a mutton snapper that swallowed his whole ballyhoo, and you can still see the beak sticking out of the mutton's mouth. We decide to head right off the reef's edge where it drops from 20 feet to 130 feet. The way that we fish in 130 feet is to drift with the current, and I toss out a ballyhoo like I was just doing. The one difference is 50 feet up the line, I have a loop that I can attach a weight to. That way my bait stays near the bottom as we drift. When your weight hits the bottom, reel it a couple times to get the weight off the bottom and then put your rod in a rod holder and wait for it to bend over. I'll add a link to the wind on leader with a weight loop in the video description below so you can check it out. Now that you're right, you can just set out against it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. there, there, there he is. Oh, oh yep. yeah. Yeah, he's there. He's, he's on. Wants it. Yeah. He wants it, he wants it fast. Yeah. Big mutton, big flag. That looks like a big mutton. Big mutton, big flag. And I checked that every good box. Let's find out what it is. Yeah. Oh. Man, oh, my goodness. 
Uh, he might have just got sharp. No. Yeah, he probably got shark. I don't know what just happened, but maybe they let go of him. Not much, I see the weight. Okay, good. There he is. That looks like a really big mutton. Oh, he's he's foul hook, hook kind of. Or no no, he's hooked good. He had to get sucked up by Oh my god, look at him. He got he's sucked up by a grouper. Yeah. Grouper sucked him up. Oh, he is destroyed. I think that was a big grouper. Grabbed him. Big black grouper. Could have been a big AJ. Mike gets himself a real nice bite, and we all get a little excited. Well, that is until we saw that he caught himself a beloved reef shark. But Mike was quick to grab him and hold him down while I pull the hook out like a dentist from my childhood. And then we put him back where he came from. Oh! Ooh, fish out, fish out! Oh, I don't know. I hope, I hope not another... Uh, I, was, I almost said crocodile, but... <laughs> crocodile? Hey, listen, he's bending that rod big time. I know. I don't want him to get slurpled up again. Slurpled? What's the definition of slurpled? Slurpled? I was sucked down. Oh, sucked down and slurpled. Gotcha. Without being hooked. Nice grip. Whatever this is like a I'm also fighting a pretty loose drag, but... I think something grabbed my fish. No, well, not real. I don't know. I don't even know what to think right now. It's weird because he's still fighting. Oh. Think. Oh, he looks good. That is a mutton. You got a mutton? It's a mutton? Yep. Oh my it's god. It came off. That's the big one. Oh, it's a grouper! It's a red! Oh, That's the biggest wild. red grouper I've ever seen! Oh, man! You gonna lift him in or you wanna try to I can, I can lift him. That's a red grouper. That is a monster red. Alright, look at that. Too bad they're not in season, but this'll do. There's a guy kite fishing for sailfish next to us. That's something I've always wanted to try. Maybe 2021 will be the year. Yeah! Fish on! I will say this doesn't feel as big as that massive grouper. <laughs> Come to Papa. 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 We had a little bit of a tangle in our lines and the hook pulled out of my mutton snapper's mouth. 
Damn. Oh. Oh. This is gonna be a real day. Holy. Wait, oh, whose no. fish is that? <laughs> that is not. Fish no, I think the fish, fish came off. I think it's your fish. <laughs> what? He's floating though. What? <laughs> what? I'm lost. Right there. That's a big fish. That's a mutton. That's a big mutton. That is a mutton. Son of a Let's gun. get him. Oh, go get no, he's trying to go down, little bastard. Oh my yeah, gosh. That's Mike's fish. I don't know. I need mine. I don't. Did he really just swim back down? Yeah. Oh. That was a keeper for sure. That was a good one. Damn. Yeah. Ah, fish on. <laughs> Yeehaw! I might jump in this time if it floats away. Come on, Tinkleberry! How much line is out of us? Okay, ain't got the weight. Then you got that big ass fish to buy. Yep, that's fine. Man, if you can put your rod on the rod, I'll see what it is. You wanna... Yes! Well, I can uh, help you. Y'all have yellow. Have oh, yellow. yeah. That's another. Oh, he's oh, gonna be. A mutton man today. Mutton! Nice, from, from, from the deep. Come on, fish. Boom, baby! Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh man, yeah! like a <laughs> oh yeah. Come on up, little fishy. It's gotta be a mutton. He's not head shaking. All right. He's a fat one. He feels heavy. Yeah. Oh! Just figured out that he's With a cooler full of mutton snapper and Dan viciously fighting a shark in the background, we decide to call it a day and head back home so we can get to the cooking part of this episode. Then here you go. Right. Mike, great day fishing today. Thank you very, very much. That was awesome. Great meeting you. You did. Yep, that was awesome. Nice meeting you too. That was awesome day. Thank you very much. I think this one. A prettier blue this line. one's fatter, but this one's just prettier. So <laughs> I'm gonna go with the prettier one. Look at the color, like the distinct color line on that right. one. Right. Yeehaw. I put that in my back pocket. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. All right, I'll throw this up here real quick. All right. All right, y'all. All right, man. It. Yeah, it was great meeting you guys. <laughs> my hands are a little right. cold and wet. Good to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. More days, I'll text you again. All right, man. It was See a good time. Absolutely. It's nice getting on the boat yeah, finally. Yeah, like I said. I'll be back August 1st. The Mahi should be running August. Right, yeah. Guys, safe trip back. Yeah. Right. Later, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. Man. You ready to flay some fish? Let's flay some fish. Oh! Ooh! Ooh. We eating fish today! <laughs> Listen.
Not bad for a Saturday. Yeah. That's great. Not bad. It was kind of a long day. It is when we go out in the morning. Swag, I'd say that was pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, good food. There's all this meat up here, but like a throat. Let's see what he's eating, by the way. Oh, he's got something he's in his stomach. Wow. All right, ready for his stomach? What's he got there? Oh, it's like a full-size fish. What the hell is that? I don't know, what is that? An octopus, is it? What the? What? It's really hard. Oh. It's a lobster. No. Yeah. Oh no, it's bones. Wait, that looks like a lobster like leg. It does. It is. It's a friggin' lobster leg. How the hell do you find that? Lobster. That's not a lobster, though. Yeah, that's a fish. Or that's a fish. Fucking lobster. How about that? So they eat lobster, too. Everything lobster. Yeah, it's more fish. Mm. Interesting. A lobster leg. So it just found it on the bottom. So then, maybe try to stick his head in a hole and grab the lobster. I want you people to leave. <laughs> yes, I want, like, to be able to walk around my house yep. with... Naked or whatever. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Oh, that was taken away from me. Yeah, we appreciate it more than Okay. You did a real nice job there. You want a plastic bag? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, it's nice. That's a nice yeah, nice there. weight to it. Mm. <laughs> well, what a great day of fishing. Dan and I, we both got bags of fish, fat bags. That was a great day. Great day. Thanks to Mike Martinez Woo! and his family. Man, we just had a super day. Awesome. Great subscriber. Great friend. And now we're going to take hot showers. Yeah, can't wait. Ooh. Because the temperature is plunging here in Florida. It was plunging. I know. Today's a cold day. <laughs> we wore sweaters all day. That's not normal. <laughs> it ain't normal. So we'll see you guys in the kitchen. We are in the kitchen. We got our lights set up because we're trying to be a little more professional now. Whoa, I just looked into them. I see dots. As long as the dots align, then it's all good. And check out what I got here. I got two fat fillets of mutton snapper. Mm. And um, yeah, we caught a whole bunch of mutton snappers. What a great time. And this is actually kind of funny because on New Year's, so that was a while ago, Dan and Elizabeth, Florida fishing couple, y'all know who Dan is. <laughs> We all know Dan. We all know Dan. They got us a bottle of white wine and it's a very interesting bottle. Can you zoom in on that? Oh yeah. Look at the graphics on that little fish and mermaid. mermaid. And it's so great, it's like carnival. It's, yeah, mermaid carnival. carnival. So we're gonna do, okay, this is ready for this. We're gonna make lightly bread encrusted mutton snapper over white basmati rice with a white wine, lemon butter, caper sauce. I think we need to open a bottle of wine <laughs> right now after that. Imagine I just dropped it and it broke. Hi, Okay, cut the lid off. I still have a video where you open the bottle of wine with a screwdriver. Oh, with a screwdriver? Yeah. I've done that before? Yeah, when we were probably the first started dating. We didn't, we didn't have a, Bottle opener, the old place. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. See, we come get, down and visit you. We've really stepped up our game. Now we got like this fancy fish shape stainless yeah. steel wine bottle opener. Screwdrivers to. 
Yeah, you know, we're constantly stepping up our game. I mean, look at... Oh, yeah. Look at our spice cabinet. Wait till everyone sees the dishes. Oh, yeah, we got dishes. We got freaking a knife set now that's color-coded to the keys. We got new... new... Man, I don't even want to talk about it. I mean, just look at this thing. <laughs> but we got the same kitties. The Nothing. kitties are still the same. Nothing. <gasps> Oops. Oh my gosh. Uh. Is he he caught himself? Or you caught him? Hi, buddy. He loves the camera. He's and his daddy loves the camera. Oh my god. This is how parents do it, right? Thanks, one, Mousy. One one baby in one hand, and then yeah, that's how you do it. Look at that. Okay, the first step of cooking with white wine is you've got to flavor test it. Oh, my. oh it's covered in cat hair. Flavor Sorry test approved. That. And after you flavor test it, you want to jug it. Jug it. Jug it. J U G. We're not chugging it, we're just putting it in a jug. Jug. Alright. Let me get you. Is that for the camera lady? Okay. Yeah, here's one for the camera lady. Do you want it to the rim? No. <laughs> I'll be dropping the camera. You want to get the catch and kick out. Thank you. There you go. Cheers, babe. Oh, yeah, here. We'll, we'll do a cheers. People are like, come on with it. Cheers. And uh, everyone right now is like, show us the camera lady. Show <laughs> us the camera lady. Mm, I like this. It's like really, it's really nice and mild. Mm. Mm. This is really good. Mm. Thank you, Dan and Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. mm. So here we go. I'm going to take this knife here. Okay, we'll turn this on medium heat. We'll pour in some of this fancy white wine. I'm really sorry, Dan, if, if this is a really nice bottle of white wine, but we're going to use it to cook. But it'll be all worth it. Okay. He's definitely cringing. I know, there is a lot of cringing going on there. We're going to add a whole stick of butter. We're gonna stick of butter. Cut these lemons in half. <laughs> this is going to be good. Put the other lemon in there. I'm wondering if one lemon would be enough. That was a lot of lemon juice. Yeah, I could have get the big fat one. That might be enough. And now we're gonna add a couple capers in there. Caitlin's favorite. Oh, oh, it's looking good, huh? And last but not least, we're gonna put some garlic in there just because America. Let that slowly simmer for the next 20-30 minutes and get a nice reduction on that. And we're going to have some real good sauce to pour over our fish later. Easy peasy, just like that. Mm. Yeah, you melt me a stick of butter. We all got that friend that's just a stick of butter. Oh my god, what does that even mean? I don't know what that means, but you can interpret it how you would like. Yeah, I like it. Because everyone, when I said that, everyone was like, I do have a friend that's a stick butter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time for the star of the show, the mutton snapper. And we're going to just do a little light breading. We're going to take some Publix original breadcrumbs. Throw them into a bag. We're also going to take... A little bit of cornstarch, not a lot. You just want to kind of put a tiny bit in there. And then we got our Sergeant Zero custom blend. Do you see that? Yeah, I was trying to zoom in so I could get your name in there. Can you see whose name's on there? Oh yeah, there it is. This is the Heiko custom blend from Sergeant Zero. And um, it's got ghost pepper in it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's got ghost pepper. And that's not the only thing. It's also got a warning label on it. 
that it's extremely spicy or hot. It'll kill a newborn. That's your, your words, or? Those are my words. Oh my gosh. But just to, just to prove that, you know, even though there's ghost pepper in it and it's super spicy. Oh, the fleck, watch. Oh, well, whatever. I'll do it over the thing. Yeah, thanks. Do you see my finger? Mm-hmm. you see that? Oh yeah. Hmm. You probably just got people excited right there. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's that good stuff. I'll give it a couple nice pumps of that. And there we go. Those are the three ingredients to breading. You know, I don't I'm not gonna do the whole egg wash or flour egg wash, this, that, that, bam do. We don't got time for that in my kitchen. We just do a nice one time go around, merry go round. Oh, still spicy. <laughs> Feels good though. And then we got one filet for Caitlin and one filet for me. You know your fish is fresh when you slap it and then you smell your hand and it just smells like your hand. That's good fish. We're gonna put our first mutton snapper in. These are Pretty big fillets, right? Mm -hmm. They're they're it good. It looks bigger in person than camera, but it looks bigger in person. Like yeah, like looking at yeah. It always it always does, doesn't it? You should have seen it in real life, bro. It was <laughs> like Moby Dick. <laughs> oh my God. All right, that oil is probably hot enough. We're not trying to scorch it. We're not trying to cook a steak. You don't want your uh, I'm using vegetable oil. You don't want it to be smoking white, you know? We're not trying to sear. We're simply trying to lightly fry. So, take our fish out. See, it's got a nice coating mm -hmm. to it. It's got a little sizzle to it. That's, that's perfect. We'll do the other half now. I love how our cat that's supposed to be part of the family is trying to destroy our family by chewing apart all of my lighting cords. Penelope? Without my lighting cords, we have no light. We have no show. We have Peter? no viewers. Penelope? Hi, Mama. You're so pretty. Hey, Mama. Hello. Happy? Yeah, happy. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it. Oh, stop chewing on that. She was like rolling on it. She doesn't know how much I spent on these lights. All right, in our last piece, here we go. Oh, I may have slapped that a little too hard, but I can't help myself. Wow, look at that. And then check out our reduction over here, just slowly boiling. You know, you just want to give it a stir once in a while, but that is coming out perfectly. We're just trying to steam off all the vapors and create a nice thick sauce there. <clears throat> so, yeah. Until this food is ready, I guess we'll just drink. The fish is going to probably cook a few minutes on one side where I'll flip it to the other side and then... We'll see you at the dinner table. Y'all ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. It's time to flip. <laughs> Let's start with this bad boy. Oh my god, yeah. And we're gonna flip this bad boy on this way. I'm gonna flip it reverse. Oh my god. That looks perfect. And we're gonna do something. So I was thinking, when we did this lemon butter caper white wine sauce, we had heavy cream in it last time. And we don't have any heavy cream, so we're gonna add a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it up just a little bit. I hope this works.
What do you think, Caitlin? Is you that enough? You might need more of like a fork, maybe. What? You might need more like to like fork, like with a Oh, with a fork. Do you think that's a good amount though, or should yeah, I? Yeah, we should start there. I mean, All right, you're we'll, out we'll start with that. So we're just gonna add some um, cornstarch and just keep kind of stirring it and, until we get a nice consistency. I grew up like this. No, I woke up like this. Uh oh, Penny's coming in. She's Not going for the one. Yeah, she takes after her mother. Smart girl. Yuppie, what's going on? All right, our fish is fried to the maximum. We're gonna lay it on a bed of rice. Holy smokes. <laughs> Holy mother of pearls. <laughs> wow. And we got our lemon caper butter sauce. I would be lying if I said I may have put too much cornstarch in it because I got way overly excited. We're gonna try some of it first, ready? Oh, it's gonna be hot, no? Yeah, well, you know, for the camera. This is for flavor. Good? Oh yeah. Mm. Mm! I'm just gonna pour it over the fish, how about that? Oh my gosh. A little glaze. Okay. Should I just do mine for now? Yeah, that's fine. So you can try it and stuff. Okay. For the camera. Got my fork. I got my mutton snapper. I got my caper sauce. I got my been waiting for this for a while. You see all this smoke coming off of it? Mm -hmm. It's hot. Oh my god. It's not so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Kaylin. Yeah. I think you need to be in this shot. Oh no. Come on, everyone wants to see it. I took a big bite. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Food by far. Yeehaw! <laughs> We're about to have a freaking feast. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately our viewers are gonna have to see end credits here in a second. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Like always, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I know if you haven't subscribed, I know. I'm like, if you ever hear some breathing and you're sleeping in your bed at night and you hear some breathing, that's me breathing down your neck like, what? Subscribe. <laughs> I know where you live. But anyways, until the next, very next episode, which should hopefully be sooner than later, we'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers. Does my thumb look weird? Do your normal one. That looks weird. Oh! Why was I doing the thumb? I, I it's supposed know. to be this! I know, that's like your signature. I've had too this. much of... I don't know what Dan. Dan gave us some weird one. It's make me do thumbs and stuff. Right? I was like, what? Okay, Dad. Like... Okay. Let's... let's cut!